Hey, my name is Michael Harrison. I'm the pastor at the Community Fellowship and the Community Dream Center, standing in front of 311 Starling Avenue. When we look at this property, um, this is the really the beginning stage of a possible homeless or transitional house, homeless shelter type situation, but a transitional house that's going to house you know 20 to 25 people, um, getting them off the street. Some say we don't have a homeless problem here in Martinsville and Henry County, but because we're a rural area, homelessness just looks different here than it does in Roanoke or Greensboro. Because most of our homeless friends are going to go hide somewhere, like on the Dick and Willie Trail, or in houses that are abandoned. You know, they're going to find a space. You know, we've seen even across the street, there's an old factory that's burned because somebody was homeless, started a fire in the corner, and we have a homeless problem here. We could take you any night and help you find 30 to 50. In fact, HUD tells us that when you count, uh, you have to add significant numbers to figure out how many homeless people there are in your community. Through the years, people have asked us, you know, why are people homeless? And there are some homeless because of their addiction, because of drugs or alcohol, some because of uh, mental instability or in mental, mental diagnoses. There are a lot that are homeless because of the economic situation of our area. I, we've met many friends and served many friends who have had good jobs, even supervisors at some of the furniture plants that are no longer here, that have found themselves um, homeless. Not only edge of homelessness, but homeless. So really our desire at the Community Dream Center in partnership with Acts 4 Ministries is to provide space lodging. We run a winter warming shelter along with the Salvation Army, and this house is going to do the same thing of giving people a place to stay, whether it's cold or hot outside, no matter what it is. So homelessness is a problem in Martinsville and Henry County. But what a blessing it is to have partners like Acts 4 Ministries, St. Joseph Catholic Church, Step Incorporated, We Care, and the list goes on and on, uh, Salvation Army, and on and on of those that believe and understand that people have value. You know, when we help homeless friends, we're giving them value. We're reminding them that not only they're human, but they're important, uh, really important to God. We need to serve homeless friends in our community. And here's a way, Acts 4 partnering with other organizations to provide lodging, to provide stable lodging. And not just a roof over our heads, but let's take one step today. In fact, what we do when we give somebody lodging is we give them an opportunity to take a breath, don't worry about your next meal or where you're going to sleep tonight or tomorrow or even the next day. But let's find ways to put you in a stable place. We all start on the outside The outside looking in This is where grace begins We were hungry, we were thirsty Nothing left to give Oh, the shape that we were in Just when all hope seemed lost Love opened the door for us He said, come to the table Come join the sinners who have been redeemed Take your place beside the Savior Sit down and be set free Come to the table Come meet this motley crew of misfits Liars and these thieves There's no one unwelcome here So that sin and shame that you brought with you You can leave it at the door And 
hero and the coward To the prisoner and the soldier To the young and to the older All who hunger or who thirst All the last and all the first All the paupers and the princes All who fail and been forgiven All who dream and all who suffer All who loved and lost another All the chained and all the free All who follow to